Hey everybody, Nom here. There's something really interesting happening right now in the world of Team Fortress 2. The folks at Potato.tf are once again hosting a Man vs. Machine charity event. This one's titled, Operation Osmium Ordnance. You should check it out. The way the event works is, a bunch of Team Fortress 2 Man vs. Machine servers are hosted around the world. You can go to the Potato.tf website and connect to them. Playing through the missions makes progress towards earning these in-game Team Fortress 2 medals. Spin! The event also has these medals. They can be obtained by donating towards the charity. Speaking of, this time around the proceeds go towards the Cure Alzheimer's Fund, a non-profit organization centered around funding research related to prevention and treatment of Alzheimer's. Operation Osmium Ordinance concludes on the 25th of July. So, if you're interested in playing through the missions to earn the medals, or donating towards a charity, that's the deadline. Alright, it's time to showcase this event firsthand by playing through a round of Man vs. Machine on one of their servers. Let's begin. Alright, so this is actually really creative and interesting. I've played this before, this is my second run through. This is called Spatial Impasse, and you play as the robots. Now, in previous um, Man vs. Machine charity events, there's been some similar things where you've played as robots, but this is like, they really went all out. They modified this. This is kind of like insane. And I, I really suggest you try, try this for yourself, like, afterwards, or do it right now. Who cares? What the? All right, sir. Anyways, so for example, here you have like setting things and like, let me, let's quickly run through because there's plenty of time until someone joins us, joins, so might as well like, um, do how to play. So, okay, so defend, defend the blood tank from the red team. There's a blood tank. More on that in a moment. Pick up blood from killing enemies. Maybe I should move this. Well, it's always in the right, where my camera is. Okay, well that's... Sucky. I'll go back. I'll just explain it. Take all the blood you collect to the blood tank. Oops, wrong button. Carry too much. Carrying too much makes you like um, vulnerable. Uh, blood tank drains its own health while it has no blood. Giving the blood tank more blood can than it can um, hold will heal it and speed it up. So it's like a payload cart, by the way. It's like there's like a mixture of payload and like player destruction. So just getting ahead a little bit. Grouping grouping together uh, around the blood tank will make it give give and take more resources. Destroying blood bots to get destroy blood bots to get extra blood. You can get one giant point each time you put blood into the tank and when you have like 30, I believe, yeah, there it is. Once you have 30 giant points, you hold down the proje the projectile shield key to become gi uh giant. So projectile shield key I believe that's reload by default, or maybe it's mouse three. I don't know. Um, while giant, hold the projectile shield key, key to get turned back to normal. The recall canteen can teleport to you between the blood tank and the upgrade station. Bomb bots deal damage, deal heavy damage to the, the the blood tank while they get close. When they get close, so you gotta like you know protect it. Stationary bombs destroy the blood tank. Um, Destroy when 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 run over. Oh yeah, so you gotta destroy destroy bombs. That's something later on as well. Uh, rotten blood doubles. Rotten blood doubles your current blood and applies ble bleeding. Is that all? Yeah, that's the first one. Okay, the first tip. Okay, anyways, let's go forth. So here's the math. We are bots. That's why there's there's eyes on screen. Now this is like something I I would like, I'm coming against. It does, it's not necessary to have the eyes on screen. Because, okay, right, like, so, you know, you taunt. I am a robot, right? And so the robots have eyes, they glow. So it puts a particle effect in front of you, whether where you are in real life, like, in the game. So you appear with, with glowing eyes like you should because you're a robot. I feel like you could just remove that effect and not have it because the downside of this effect is that it puts eyes on screen, right? So I switch weapons. Like, look at those eyes just jitter around. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is not necessary. Okay. Any else, uh, other things to notice? Like, oh, you can tell this is really not made for this. You're not supposed to ever be on the blue team, right? So, like, it takes a second to load. It's like, oh, wait. What? And then it, like, it populates a list. Like, uh, uh, there yeah. And then when it, when it goes back, when, it, when I stop clicking tab, you see it's all, of the, all the teammates are red, and then they turn blue for, like, a fraction of a second. All right, probably should choose some upgrades now. Yeah, okay, we're going to start soon. Apparently. Um, this is good, this is good. We probably want some speed. Like, movement speed. And ammo capacity, or maybe more... Uh, there's a lot of, like, just, like, garbage enemies. So, so, like, health on kill is really pretty good. I think, in this situation. All right, sure, let's proceed forward. Anything else to mention? I am a robot. This is my taunt. Doesn't really work. Yeah. The jit. The taunts. They don't have them for robots. So, like, let me do high five. There's high five. There's nothing there. <laughs> Another thing to note. Look how, like, it's red in the bottom of the screen. Look, he's high fiving me. You heard the effect. You heard the sound effect. It didn't happen. But, okay, so let's begin. This is quite interesting. This is quite crazy. It's kind of quite chaotic. Chaotic. We'll find out. We'll do it. We'll go forth. I am a pyro. There's a lot to do. Lots to take care of. Okay, there we go. Blah blah blah. Tank. Blah blah. Let's go. Weird realization. I have the head my headphone audio too too loud, so I'm kind of like deafened right now. See, so there's little things that drop. Pretty straightforward. I'm dying. So it starts off quite easy. There's nothing here. It's just whatever. I have a bunch of blood. As seen on screen in the HUD. These things drop drop blood. Those are the blood robots. And now we'll bring the blood to the tank. I'm also marked for death, which is because I have like too much blood, right? So four, three, two, one, zero. That's like extra blood. Now the regular blood. The tank is out is like full of blood. This is the bloody tank. Look, it literally has blood in it. And the blood tank. It's the payload cart that you're pushing, basically, with the blood. For for humans have blood, and we are robots, right? You know? I'm reminded of that song that was featured, <laughs> that was created by and part of um, them. <laughs> Does anyone remember like that cartoon, the Donkey Kong cartoon from the '90s, or like the early 2000s? All right, so this that that upgrade. Oh yeah. Oh, good job. Good job, man. Good job, medic. I'm a metal head. I'm a metal head. I'm a metal head. I'm a metal head. I'm a metal head, I'm a metal head. What if I should bring them closer? Yes. Oh, no. Okay. I probably should focus more on what I'm doing, less on singing. Wait. Okay. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, it's good job, man. I'm happy. I wonder if I, my cursor is seen, is, is recorded at this moment in time. I'm about to die again. Let's, uh, retreat. This is, this is a payload card, right? So, yeah, it heals me. Excellent, excellent. As suspected. Let's get some blood. Let's get some blood! We're vampires! No, we're not. Hmm. Destroy blood bots. One of whatever. Okay. So, as we go on, there are, like, side objectives and things that occur. So... I, ooh, I probably should, like... Oh, okay, don't! I was gonna say, I like, probably should, um, extinguish my teammate. But, never mind that. We're doing very poorly right now. So, in terms of money, because you know in, in MVM you get money like by destroying robots? Here it's more like on an occasional thing. It just happens every so often, like at certain checkpoints. Right now, we're doing alright. The blood tank has full health. It's just hanging out there. It's just chilling. It's doing alright. It's just it's just there. Okay, no, they're attacking the tank. That's pretty bad. Put some blood there. I mean some 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 fire. Put you out, put you guys out. Continues to do it for extra points for no reason. Why not? Why not? Why, why not? Put, extinguish your teammates. Okay. Pretty good. I have 17 whatever points. Giant points, as you see in the, right, in the right. Unless my camera covers it, which I think it does not, but you never know. So, oh, yeah, dude, all right, good. All right, we completed an objective. That's excellent. Good, good, good. Let's uh, move this tank up. Now, you see this thing over there. I think it's a sentry gun. Yeah, the sentry gun over there. I guess me and the soldier. Okay, let's focus on me. Me and not the soldier. Nobody. Alright, me and the soldier. C can you, like, you know, stun it? Is he gonna do it? Good enough. Let's go. Oh! Wow. Good teamwork. Oh my god. High five, man. Although it doesn't work! <laughs> Robots can't high five. That's illegal. 
It's a you know it's illegal on the moon for ro robots to high five. Did you know that? I'm not making this up. It's it's a true it's a true fact. Now you know this factoid. Where are these guys going? I probably should put some blood in the, black, in the blood tank. I'm stuck. Luckily, this tank is not like is a friendly tank. It's like a payload cart, right? So if you get stuck by it, you don't get like freaking pulped. You know, you don't get you don't become one with the ground. All right, let's see. I, I guess. Go, oh, that's a, that's a that's a that's a that's a boss. That's a bad guy. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, the game is highlighting the robots, the blood robots. So I guess I'll grab one or grab a few. That's uh, and there's another boss guy coming. I guess my teammates will deal with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, we have time. We have. We could just like go away. We can just chill out over here, next to these like you know the robots that trickle in every so often. Let me shop upgrade. No, I have no money. I'm dead. Oh no, I do have money. As seen in the bottom left, it appeared for moments and uh, periodically unappears and and reappears. Interesting. Okay, we'll we respawn. Let's go back over there. The recall canteen. Blah 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 blah. For some reason, there's you know less gravity, so I could make this jump. I guess it makes sense because we're on the moon, but whatever. You don't have to do that. More damage. Um, resistances. What am I dying to? Mostly bullets. Let's go. Also, walking speed would be great as well. Like you really just want to like go around. Hmm. Can I like? Why am I sped up for no reason? This is working slowly. Let's. Uh, never mind. He does have like 2,461 health. Well, my teammates are doing really well. Guide. Oh, guide. Guide? The objective is to guide. We must guide these robots. Alright. See, these these are not humans. I mean, these are not human teammates. Not human power teammates. Alright, let's guide. Let's just... Well, this medic is. But, who am I guiding? What are we guiding? Those guys were guiding. Th Darn you, humans. Darn you and your power of humanity. Humanity. Why am I Ubered? Okay, sure. Alright, objective complete. I mean, I guess I was helpful. I wasn't helpful. Let's, uh, live. And do things. No one's here. What am I doing? Hello? Sentry gun over there? Okay, we'll put some blood in the tank. Clear out. Ideally, you know, I could roam around and do this sort of thing. Just grab the, the blood from these things. Which is nice. You're, you're going in a weird direction, sir! What the heck? Can I, can I grab this? I cannot. Hello? Okay. Whatever, I'm almost full of blood. So, let's transport it over here to the inner tank. There is some stuff happening down there. Whoops. Um, let's just go over here where the medic is. Get some blood to the tank. And, um... There's a lot of blood around the bottom of this giant. Wait, that doesn't make sense. It's a robot, though. Not a, not a giant human. Hmm. Weird. I suppose their team could also have robots. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the lore behind this, this map or how. I, I don't know, but they're robots on both teams. Take it, and by take it, I mean take the death. This guy looks like a giant. Oh no, they all look like that. Okay, well I have five blood. Might as well give it to the tank. Um, everything is going smoothly more or less. The first round's the easy round. The second round's where it kind of gets some. Okay, I'm falling down here. Can you, like not? Can you not? Now you may be thinking, why aren't you using the phlogistonator? There's, there's no tanks to kill. Secondly, I believe it's nerfed in this specific one map where you cannot like build oomph as easily, or like it takes like a really long time. But I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I guess I'll check later. Anyways, we have 8 inch gold. Didn't I say I was going to upgrade? Did I upgrade before? I'm kind of scatterbrained right now. Oh no, yeah I did. Let's grab some movement speed because running fast is great. Especially for the way I play, where I roam around a lot. Um, and resistances, twenty damage, uh, ammo capacity is good. Sure, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. The tank's up there. It's just chilling, I think. Um, there's some robots to kill. No one's attacking it. Oh, there's some heavies attacking it. All right, well, I'll, I'll deal with them, I suppose. Hmm. Briefcase. Interesting. Why be? Oh. Briefcase. I probably should check out what that is, whatever that is. Should I bring my blood? No, I have one blood. No, there's no point. Deliver briefcase of tank. Um, okay. You got it. This teammate, I'll, I guess I'll cover you. Ignore that guy. Where'd he go? Um, 
I'm covering. Don't know why he took this extremely strange way to get here. Oh, right. Enemy, sorry. I zoned out for a second there. Um, deliver more briefcases. So, I imagine... Okay, you, you're you over here. You're a giant. I don't know how you got there. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> okay, the medic is alone. I'm sorry, medic. Okay, I'm going to come there and kill and, and clear the tank. The tank is under attack. You know, it's, it's losing health badly. Well, slowly. We probably should head over there. It's ideal. I'll take this path over here. No, I'll take this path. Oh, the giant's over there. No. That's also a sentry gun down there. Well, luckily, it's over there. It's far away. We've done, do we've done did something. I think we completed objective. We put the thing in the tank. So, these guys are... The sentry's not here. I mean, might as well kill all the... Well, I think we just beat the round. Alright. Good stuff. Alright. That was the first round. If you want to check out the second, well, the second round is more is more difficult, and we're likely to lose very quickly because you need like a lot of well, a moderate amount of coordination for it, and it's it is indeed more difficult. So I guess I could like seriously, I, I know this is a video and I should stop, but I I love this, this random mishmash of mixtures of things, and it's a weird game mode. It's a little janky. I love the Source Engine jank. I love this game, Team Fortress Two, and I love I just love this. It's it's stupid and a mixture and it's a unique experience you're not gonna get anywhere else. Where are you gonna play this otherwise? <laughs> so come go join a, a potato.tf server, playing this map and like play this. We're gonna play until until we lose, I guess. This video may be really long, but I've just made the decision right now. I've nowhere. I'm running out of hard drive space. Well, solid state hard drive space, solid state drive space. But we're doing it. We're doing it. We're done doing it. Uh, ah, resistances. Or <laughs> movement speed, uh, and I guess crit resistance. Yeah, sure. Maybe no, I don't fire. I'm pyro. Yeah, sure. Let's go. We're doing it. We're done doing it. Okay. We're going forth. Now, oh, this is supposed to just be a showcase, but it's gonna be an extended showcase now. We're playing this round. Okay, so this round, I've, I've, I've lost you so many times, I've memorized how you start it. What happens is a, 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 a scout runs toward, from there, runs up. So what I do is, I go forward, I put some gas on it, and I kill it before it gets a tank. Because it is the type of scout that it like jumps into the tank and does a lot of damage to it. Like It's like a suicide bomber scout. Which will spawn right there. There we go. And then... Uh, all the pyros mysteriously spawn in this area, and I just sort of like hose them down. I have a little bit of blood, so I'm not like you know dying. Yeah, there's some pyros here. Sure, sure, sure. It's just circle straight. So my running is good. Oh, okay. Who was the medic? That killed me. That's like I'm so far away. All right. Well, let's. Oh, okay. That is it. No, oh, no, no. Okay, they destroyed it. Good, good, good. Hmm. Meanwhile, oh, that's the medic just getting gold blood. Yeah, sure. Well, you didn't even pick it up, sir. You are not a very good killer robot. All right. So I have some blood. I have two, two things of blood. Just sort of circle strafe here. I like how they have the little helmet on. Like, cause they're like workers. They're like you know, they're little cute workers just working at this facility, who could somehow breathe in space. Or at least, I mean, the doors are open, so I assume, like, the, the space air gets in, or the air gets out. Okay, I'm being crisp right now. Let's, uh... These guys are, like, coming for the tank, you know what I mean? And they're dangerous, they're large, they're in charge. Well, they're not in charge, but they're large. Throw gas for no reason. Literally no reason, it does very m minuscule damage. Oh, I could become a giant! I'll save it for a moment when we need it more, though. See, as you see on screen, I have 44 numbers out of 30. I was holding a little bit of blood. Should get that get back to the tank and put it in there. Let's grab some blood. Why fight robots when you could just farm for blood over here? Carrying too much blood makes you slow and fragile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, I'm in a safe area. There's nothing dangerous here. Destroy target robot. Sure, let me just input the blood. And it's now at full blood. Good, good, good. Alright, let's go uh, destroy a robot. Hmm. 
Yeah, so my teammates are here. They're hanging out. They're, they're doing their thing. They're like, you know, they're chilling. I guess we'll go straight. Where is he? What's he doing? Where is he going? Luckily, I mean, he has, he's no reach. He's, he's melee and I, I could just kill him. I could just shoot him from a distance, right? The stupid thing would be to go up into his grill and sort of punch him. Then again, I am stupid. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Although, it would be fun. Plus, he has Fists of Steel, right? So he takes extra damage from being punched. Ah, no, we didn't do it. But it felt like it. It's like the Call of the Void. The Call, call of Stupidity. you got to do the stupid maneuver sometime in your life. Luckily, I, I have, like... I have, I, have, I have no ammo. <laughs> I was going to say, luckily, I have... Like, um... Health on kill. With the flamethrower. And I think it was actually helpful in that situation. Because the little robots, the little garbage robots... I mean, the little garbage humans... They just um, infused me with health while killing that giant robot. But then again, they were also like, you know, those scouts were like also chipping away at me too. Let's get some blood to the plant tank, why not? I mean, you have to eventually heat it up, right? If it goes down all the way, it starts losing blood. Alright, objective complete. Now the blood, now the tank will go forward. Excellent. We have some money. There's a little bit of downtime. I could upgrade, I suppose. Do I need anything? None particular. I don't need, I don't need something. More damage, uh, ammo capacity is pretty good. I guess more resistances. Uh, sure. Okay. Oh no. Okay. 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 This is bad. This is bad. Look over there. There's a thing. Gotta kill us. Kill. 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 There's a bomb. A bomb. There's a bomb. Bomb. Kill bomb. Bomb. If tank goes on bomb, it explodes, and it's really bad. So you see the bomb's health bar on screen. The bomb has health bar. So we're gonna spam this bomb with damage. Eventually, the, the soldier, do you know the soldier over there? They're gonna, they're gonna, I'm gonna try to reflect their things if I can. But it's difficult. There's no soldiers now, but never mind. How much blood do I have? No, not my, not much. Come on. Can you, can you like go away, sir? Ouch. Actually, that wasn't that powerful, that bad. Ah, like, oh, I can't. His timing is very strange. I can't reflect. Let's just put some blood in the tank. Okay, but we gotta kill this before the tank gets here, right? Like it's pretty straightforward. Excellent. Okay, okay. Doesn't hurt us for some reason, which is excellent. That would be a little bit counterintuitive. Or like, because it isn't a positive thing, right, to destroy it. But if it hurt us, that would be like bad game design. So nothing else of interest. I guess the tank's just, you know, chilling. It's going slowly. I believe it's more difficult to get the tank up these stairs. I mean, the ramp. It's not really stairs. Hmm. So let me just grab some blood. I have extra, extra blood. A little extra blood. Put in the tank. Okay, it's it's full. So we'll proceed over here. I don't see anything. I guess, you know, the outlines indicate over here where, where the robots are. So we'll grab some blood or whatever. Is my dad down there? What am I seeing? Hmm. Well, nothing. Well, let's put the blood in the tank, I guess. Let's put the blood in the literally bloody tank. Alright. Hmm. Supply targets with blood. Okay, this is a little different. What you do is the same sort of thing, except instead of giving it to getting giving it to, to the tank, you give it to these guys, the blood. Give the blood to the robots who want the blood for some reason. I don't make up the rules, but the medic doesn't seem to understand. So like six, five, four. So I gave it three blood, and yeah, let's go find. It. Where's the? Oh yeah, near the beginning. This is an area with. I guess you kill these dudes, they also give blood at a smaller rate. They're not, you know, they're not bloody robots. They're not the blood dudes. Hmm, this won't be dangerous and painful. Actually, it kind of is. But I am gaining health because I think that the, the scout mad milked it. I have a little bit of blood. Also, give some to the tank because the tank, you know, takes damage. Let me put some in here. There you go. Okay. If tank has nothing, tank damage. Let's go up ahead to head back to the beginning area because I know my teammates are not there, right? So here I'll be able to get blood, and we'll be able to give the blood to the robots. The robots upstairs, these little dudes. Okay, okay, you're here. You're hanging. I may become vulnerable if I pick up too much blood, but yeah. Interestingly, you get stuck in those a little bit. Okay, so two of the two of the the, the supply dudes. Oh, there it is, right there on screen. It's really good to, to, to enable your glow effects in this game, for this specific game mode thing, Matricker. This round of MBM, this tour, or, oh no they did it. Okay, I'll give the blood to the tank then. I mean, the blood doesn't go to waste, you know what I mean? Alright, alright. 
Did we get some money? Oh, we got $1,000. Mm, nothing's happening here. Might as well head back. And upgrade. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, great. Okay. All right. Okay. Look, there, there's some things happening up there. But what's more important is that there's a bomb. We have to put blood. I mean, we've got to put some damage on that bomb there. Because the tank gets there and it's, it's like, it's over. It's not literally over. It'll just take heavy damage. Like, heavy damage. Like, half health bar or something, right? Or maybe we'll die. I don't know. I don't remember. Just take it. And by it, the damage, I mean. Get out of here. I reflected that at you. Can I just, like, knock him off? Shoot him off there. Ouch. That was very unexpected. All right. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's get this thing on down. Is that, my, is that my body? It is. I have a floating canteen. Halloween flavored canteen. Okay. Which I do. Serious. Seriously, though. It's right there. Floating. And canteen and Halloween. I just got that. I just got that random, randomly one day for one time at Halloween. Hmm. All right. Well, some robots coming. There's a boss over here. Might as well. Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Oh, crit, crit, ouchie. Actually, my health is pretty good though. It's just sort of a circle strafe. Ouch. You're a robot. You're a giant robot. There's a lot of robots here. I mean, protect the sentry sounds like a good idea. Cause if the sentry doesn't take damage, it can continuously deal damage. It's the perfect. Maneuver, and since they're, they're melee, right? They want to grow, go up to the sentry, but if I push them away, they can't go up to it, and it could just continuously deal damage. Like a beautiful sentry that it is. Good job, sentry. I have a lot of ammo. Let me just spray and pray. I mean, I don't see why not. Like, what's? Although I do have a lot of blood, I'm marked for death. So let's actually not. Let's go back to the tank. Okay, this is a really interesting maneuver where the tank deploys a bomb, kinda. It's sort of okay. It deployed a bomb into a stretcher. And it sort of goes over there. Meanwhile, we're under attack and stuff, right? Let me just... Because we get three points for just, just extinguishing this guy over and over. <laughs> I mean, why is there a skull here? Oh, it's like poison blood. Oh! That was mentioned before. Interesting. But I'm also bleeding now. Was that a... a I can't remember. Was it a negative or positive thing, the poison blood? Or the toxic blood? I don't know. Destroy... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Th th that's an evil scout. He's kind of, he's heading towards us slowly. Oh, I guess he's taking this way. So I'll meet him up over here. Where'd he go? I guess he died. All right, well, let's just focus on the objective. I don't. I think you just gotta defend it. Like I don't know if putting blood in it right now does anything. Whoops, didn't mean to fall. I don't know if putting blood in it does anything right now. Maybe it moves it down that stretcher that, down this line. That area explodes, so I'm not gonna hang out over there. I'm just gonna just kill some stuff. I think we done did it. Did we done do it? Push the bomb car to destination. It, it's done. It's done. Yes. Excellent. Mission two done. Should we... If I do this, if I do the third wave, is if I do the third... Yeah, it's a wave. If I do the third wave, there'll be no anticipation for you. You'll be like... Oh, I know. I saw... I've seen it all. I've done... I, I don't need to live through it. I don't, I don't have to play it for myself. So I can't show the third wave. Okay? It's unfortunate... But I'm having to, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna. Um, there's, there seems to be a seam in your map. Oh no! It's, this is actually like a metal slab, and then this is where the wall begins. It's still a seam though. Interesting. Anyways, thanks for watching. Play this for yourself. It's a blast. For context, for full context. There are just regular man versus machine missions. This is just an outlier where something is strange and different and really cool. But, you know, play the charity event, play through the various missions on the various maps. Some of them are, just, are more vanilla than this, most of them. And they're enjoyable and fun and have some fun. Also, donate to, char to charity if you want. Au revoir.